welcome to another video. So today's video is actually a tutorial kind of video um, on my OBS settings. I was asked to do a tutorial or how to use OBS as a recording software because you guys can use it um, as a recording software, not just for streaming. And it is free, so you don't have to worry about paying for Fraps, for example, who that gives you a, huge files. I mean, if you guys like that and want to use that, definitely go ahead and use it. I know I used Fraps before I used OBS for a while. Um, but I found out that OBS is, I don't know, I like the way OBS works and yeah, there's some things that sometimes get annoying, like if you open up a browser, it'll like start recording the browser instead. I'm pretty, I don't know if there's a way to get rid of that, but uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and head into my settings quickly and show you guys what settings I have. So for general settings, this is, I don't think there's anything really that you need to select here except for enable cursor over projector so that you can actually see the cursor. Um, then next is the encoding, which I'm not sure, just I guess copy what I have and maybe that'll work for you guys. Uh, I'm not sure, I think max bitrate, I'm not sure, I think it, that, that varies for people, but you can try it. Um, if anything, just look up another video or on YouTube or Google it because I'm not, like I don't know everything about this stuff. I just basically got a video and got these settings, but people asked for it from me, so I'm just going to go ahead and help you guys out. Um, Change your bitrate on the audio for to 192. I know the automatic one, I think, is 128. Uh, then broadcast settings. For this one, you actually have to change the file output from live streaming to file output only. And then find a file path. And then make sure that it's you're saving it as an MP4 and nothing else. Because that way, you'll be saving an MP4 file rather than this FLV one that sometimes um, ends up happening at the beginning. So make sure you're doing MP4. And then video, um, this should be at 1280 to 720, but mine's at this. Don't do this. Just change it to 1280 by 720. Mine's just this way because I edit my the way that my um, screen is sometimes. So 1280 by 720 is the way you should go. So let me go ahead and... Actually, I'm not going to change it because this is the way I have it. So um, And then... 60 FPS is like the higher quality, I guess you could say. Um, for most computers, like I usually record at 30 FPS, which doesn't seem to be a problem. And uh, but I've recently started recording at 60 FPS. 30 FPS is, I guess, the safest way to go. So it's all up depending on how you want to record it. Um, so yeah, audio. Um, so mine, my desktop obviously is using my these speakers. I don't know what these speakers are actually. I have no idea. And then obviously my mic is here. And then I'm not sure if these are changed. I think they're just come out, come like automatically. Okay, just say yes. Okay, as far as hotkeys go, I have, I set up mine to start recording with F9 and start recording with F10. So you guys can set up hot, hot, hot streams, hotkeys if you want. You don't have to. And then there's also like push to talk or mute mic and stuff like that. So that's up to you guys. Um, as far as advanced, I'm not sure if this is the most important part, um, but if you are recording with 60 FPS, make sure to check this mark, check this box off because you want to make sure that it's actually recording at 60 FPS. And then I'm not sure if there's anything else. Basically, just pause the video at any point and then copy it, and hopefully it works for you guys. Uh, this, this is nothing. Microphone noise gate. I don't know what this does. I'm not sure if this is different. I've, I don't think I've changed this one. And then scene switcher, I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out for those of you who want to be using OBS as your recording software. I highly recommend it. I, I find it easy to use and it's not that hard. And like you can save profiles so that you can have, you know, different, um, what's it called? Like you can have 30 FPS file or like a live streaming file so you don't have to go ahead and change your stuff all the time. Um, but yeah, so hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section down below and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to help you out. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys find this helpful and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye guys.